Today I want to talk about the, the concept of conditional and unconditional love and why I do feel that both, yes both, are equally as important as each other in any kind of relationship. So whether it be romantically, business, uh, friendships, family and so on, why having both of them as part of that connection that you have with each other will really help to reduce any anxiety that you have as well as build elements of trust and connection with people. So what I will try and do is I'll try and give maybe a story or two for, for each of these and hopefully it does put more into perspective of why they are equally as important. So let's start with unconditional love. This idea of loving someone for their flaws, there being no judgment, there being this uh, love and affection for just liking someone for who they are as a person, whatever their mistakes are that they've made or have or flaws that are part of them, you are loving and caring for them just as they are. And also hoping that you kind of have that vice versa, that someone feels that same way about you. Maybe you are someone who has had a certain kind of upbringing or you've had a certain kind of lifestyle and you want someone to like you for your flaws and for your personality. And, you know, this is obviously a beautiful idea, but I don't believe that it's enough because you then find that people can also take advantage of that unconditional love. And I'll, I'll share a story about that in just a sec. But what about with conditional love? The idea of this uh, mutual agreement that I like you and you like me. And I don't think this is really discussed that much when people are having relationships. They talk a lot about like, you know, I love that person for their flaws. I'm in a relationship because of who they are and I love every bit of them, but they don't, or, or what tends to get missed out is this like, well, I love them and they love me. And that's also part of why we're in a relationship with each other. And I find when that isn't integrated in the relationship, then the, uh, I think the, the the issues of trust tend to seek in. Like people don't seem to trust each other just relying on the flaws of the other person. So let's say someone has cheated on their partner and they accept them for who they are with that. They don't like the fact that their partner has cheated, but they stay with them because of that unconditional love by, oh, well, I love them for their flaws, but there's no conditional love there. That person maybe does not love them back and they are happy to cheat on them with other people. And that person then may create resentment. They may become anxious. They may become jealous or envious and develop even hatred for the person that they are meant to love and care for because there is no mutual um, mutual connection or understanding of the relationship that they have. So although people might go into relationships and love each other for their flaws, they aren't considering the conditional side of things that if we're gonna be in a relationship together, then you have to love me and I have to love you. And it's not me trying to say it in a way that's like, like you have to do this. It, it's just this mutual respect for each other that if you're going to be in a monogamous relationship, unless you have both discussed otherwise, a lot of people, they then start, because they start cheating on each other, trust goes out the window. And then they start developing also this, uh, this hatred for the idea of being in a relationship. And then it can be very difficult for people to form um, connections because they are just scared they're gonna be cheated on or scared they're gonna be taken advantage of. So I'll, I'll give you a story here of, um, of a client that I worked with, an amazing guy who has helped so many men over the years. 
Uh, and I, I will keep him very discreet and anonymous for this example. But he is someone who has certainly made an influence on the community. And many years ago, uh, he was someone who loved to travel the world and stuff and guys wanted to travel with him and uh, be part of his uh, his community uh, of friends, uh, as well as even wanting to work with him and be part of the team. And this guy or this coach of, uh, of mine uh, or client of mine, he would very openly share all his knowledge and wisdom with these guys, you know, because he... He had this unconditional love for them that he was taking them under his wing and he was giving them all of that knowledge that he had to this very prestigious and premium level of a coach that he was in this uh, this, this trust or this hope of trust that they would stay by his side and uh, be supportive of him uh, if he needed it the most. Now, rolling on a couple of months after he trained them to a really good level, they then decided to start their own business and use all of the content that he had. And I remember he was devastated. He was heartbroken over this. I think he was in Barcelona at the time when I remember him telling me the story, but he was heartbroken that not only had they taken all of his stuff, uh, his content, but they are coaching. They'd also stolen um, uh, his clients and even his cameraman and crew as well. Uh, and they had essentially just cut him out and, and excluded him from the business. And he was, I remember him being so distraught about it and saying, you know, that I'd given them this unconditional love um, and affection to help them to grow and develop. And they just took everything from me and then they just left me. And this to me was just this, gave me this clarity of like, but you can't just have unconditional love and respect with each other in a relationship. There has to be conditional respect there as well. If you're going to train me with everything, then I will stay by your side. I will be supportive of you. If you're going to respect me, I'm going to respect you. If you're my friend, I will be your friend. If you love me, I will love you and so on. And I think it was a big kind of like learning curve um, for him as well. But it was just devastating that you've got, there were there were men who were talking about how supportive they were and loving and affectionate and how they were going to be best friends forever and all this and that. But as soon as he got everything that he needed from him, he took everything, plagiarized it, and moved on and then even claim that it was all his ideas and stuff so obviously you this it might not be a story that's relatable for you but i want you though to consider that any kind of relationship that you have does need to be both conditional and unconditional but this can be dependent on what your beliefs are and your ideology as well Maybe you are someone who prefers to have open relationships with each other. But if you are someone who prefers the the polygamy kind of way of having relationships with women, then make sure that you have that honesty there, that they know what they're getting themselves in for and that they are agreeing to those terms as well. If you're forming relationships with women and they think that you are the only one that they're having that relationship with, if they think that for them, they are having that conditional and unconditional relationship, whereas for you, it's unconditional, then that's not fair on the women that you're dating. And I'd also expect the same for women to treat men the same way as well, that if a woman wants to be polygamous, then she needs to be very honest and open to the guy that she's dating. And then it's up to him to either accept that or say no. I think though part of the problem with this is that people just don't feel that level of abundance. They don't feel that they've got enough choice in their dating pool to, you know, to say no to things that they don't like. And they don't want to lose out on a situation. So they will just say yes to the people that they maybe admire or just love and and uh, have an attraction to, but that doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to be reciprocated. And this is my takeaway for you that 
any kind of relationship that you have, just make sure that you are getting the same in return as well. You might love and care for someone or be attracted to them for their flaws, but make sure that it is a two-way streak, that it is equal, that it isn't just going to be a case of you are just head over heels for someone, but they don't love and respect you back. And so they will take advantage of you and you will just be blindsided by the whole experience because of just your affection for them. So make sure that your relationships are conditional and unconditional. Love people for their flaws and love them because they love you back for your flaws too. So I'd love to hear your thoughts on this video. Have you ever been in an experience or, or been in a relationship with someone where this relationship has been both conditional and unconditional, or maybe it's just been one or the other. I would genuinely love to know. But other than that, if you can like and subscribe to my channel, any like that you can give or any comments underneath really helps the channel to grow. And I would love as much support as I can get because I wanna help as many men as I can with their anxiety and also how they can just have better relationships with others and themselves as well. So thank you again for watching, like and subscribe, comment below, and I will see you in the next video.